nine steps for rebuilding your nest egg. Number one, redo your financial plan and make sure you have updated values for your stocks, your bonds, and your real estate. We don't want to bury our heads in the sand. We want to go ahead and face new realities head on so we get you in the right direction. Number two, do a fresh review of all your stock holdings, all your mutual fund holdings, all your bond holdings, as well as your asset allocation plan. What worked? What didn't work? What beat the market? What lost more and why? Does anything need to be replaced or improved factoring in the new realities? Thirdly, redo your risk profile. You may have found that in the recent market crash that it may have changed considerably. That could alter your asset allocation, the vehicles you have, and the tools. Fourthly, build a cash cushion. That way if you need cash, you don't have to dip it or take it out of your stocks when they're down. Here's some rule of thumb we're going to share with you. If you're working, three to six months of expenses. If you retire, perhaps up to a year. Fifthly, keep contributing to your IRAs. Keep contributing to your 401ks. Just because the market's down doesn't mean that you sh should stop. Actually, their shares are cheaper. So continue that and keep working towards your retirement goals. Number six, consider pushing back your retirement a few years. You know what? That's going to do two things. Number one, it's going to allow you to save more. Number two, it's going to allow you more time for your portfolio to get back where it was. And this is a big one, number seven, but one that is altogether often dismissed. Have in place a risk management system. Don't let, for the third time, your portfolio get trashed like it probably did from 2000 to 2002 or from 2007 and from 2009. The days of buy and hold are dead. You need to have a risk management system in place so your portfolio isn't wiped out. Number eight, consider new strategies, consider new vehicles to limit losses, to grow your portfolio, not just in bull markets, but in sideways markets and dial markets. Now, take proactive steps, take courses, read books, see a financial planner. You could go ahead and get through this, and Rudy and I are here to help you, guide you, and educate you.